busy. It's great. The weather's great. The uh, crowds are great. Um, we've had a ton of pre-sold tickets effective last night, well beyond previous years. It's very rare that you can go into a working shipyard, but Bay Ship opens up for us. They work with us. We've been meeting since the first of the year with them, and every year it goes really well. I, I really view it as this is a um, an opportunity for Sturgeon Bay to really present itself as a maritime community. And last year we added uh, West Side more heavily with the uh, Selvik marine towing tugs, working tugs people can walk by, look at. There's six different tugs of varying sizes. Got the Chicago Fireboat that's open and if people want to take a trip on it later in the day. And of course the museum has really become a focal part of it. And the Coast Guard, we have not only the Coast Guard, the Mobile Bay, but now it's in its home dock. We've never had that before. And I think that's really where we go in the future because you get a chance to see the working tug where they put the, um, uh, the buoys in in the spring and take them out in the fall. And then we've got the emergency rescue boat right behind it from the canal station. The helmets signify all the different trades, whether we be painters, supervisors, electricians, sheet metal, welders, um, heavy equipment, machinery, um, machinists, carpenters, pipe fitters, steel fitters, and then our tool room. It's the first time I've ever done this. My uh, friend told me about it two years, uh, last year. We walked around the perimeter, and then uh, this is incredible. And when I heard that Tagurtha was going to be here, I was like, wow. I wish they could do a little bit more of this, get the public out here you know, and see some of the vessels, especially the winter fleet. When the winter fleet's in here and we've got 15, sometimes 18 different vessels, a lot of the heritage here is what really is, makes it the most interesting. The um, various different types of repair that they do in a winter time, not to mention red, you know, the refitting and even the new builds. It just seems to be that they have all the bases covered. It's been fascinating.